session we are going to perform an experiment to calculate percentage of pollen germination. In nature you know that pollen grains they germinate on the compatible stigmas of the carpet. Pollen grains can also be induced to germinate in a synthetic medium. During germination actually what happens is in time that is the inner wall of pollen it emerges out as a pollen tube through one of the germ pores in exine. You know that exine is the outer wall layer of the pollen grain. To conduct and demonstrate this experiment we require mature pollen grains of Tedescantia, Balsam, Jasmine, Lily, Vinca rosea, China rose, Petunia or Thevesia that is any kind of flower. But today what we are going to use is Sadabaha that is Vinca rosea. The chemicals required are calcium nitrate, boric acid, sucrose, distilled water, we need petri dish, cavity slides or plain glass slides and the cover slips, needle, forceps and brush plus the compound microscope. Now let me demonstrate the procedure for conducting this exercise. First we are supposed to prepare the pollen germination medium by dissolving 10 grams sucrose, 30 milligrams calcium nitrate and 10 milligrams of boric acid in 100 ml of distilled water or alternatively freshly prepared 10 percent sucrose solution can also be used. Now let me explain you the procedure. First we are going to take this uh, cavity slide which should be clean and dry. So we will place it onto the table. Then we will take the flower of Vinca rosea because we are required to dust the pollen grains onto this. So first let me pour a drop of the pollen germination medium. Actually you can see here this is pollen germination medium and this is 10 percent sucrose solution. So we are going to use the separate droppers for carrying out this exercise. So I will be first using this pollen germination medium. So I am going to pour just one drop onto the cavity like this and then I will be taking this flour because I am supposed to dust the pollen grains onto this drop of germination medium. So what I will use is this needle. So with the help of this needle I will sprinkle the pollen grains onto this drop. So I have dusted enough amount of the pollen grain and I am going to mix it thoroughly so that a homogeneous suspension is created. Then I will be taking this cover slip and I have to load it down very very carefully so that no air bubbles are trapped like this. So our setup is ready. Similarly we can take another cavity slide and in that case we can use this germination medium which is 10 percent sucrose solution. Now we are supposed to keep it aside undisturbed for at least 20 minutes and then we will observe it under the microscope. Similarly we are going to repeat the same procedure with 10 percent sucrose solution. So again I am going to place a drop of 10 percent sucrose solution in the cavity. And then again I am going to sprinkle the pollen grains of Vinca rosea onto this drop. So I have put enough amount of the pollen grains and now I am going to mix it thoroughly so that I am getting a homogeneous suspension. Then I am going to place a cover slip onto this and uh, let me tell you we have to lower it down very slowly so that 
there is no trapping of air bubbles. So, our second slide is also ready. Now, we are going to keep this slide also for 20 minutes because we have to give the same time duration for both these media. Then only we can make a comparison of percent pollen germination in both these media. Okay? So, after 20 minutes, we are going to take observations by placing these slides onto the stage of the microscope. After 20 minutes, we are going to note down the observations. So, what we will do is, we will place the slide onto the stage of the microscope. And then, so what are the observations which we are going to take down? First, total number of pollen grains seen in the microscopic field at the number of pollen grains that have germinated. So, we will note down the observations onto this observation table. So, I will again count. So, in this first microscopic field, I have seen that approximately total number of pollen grains are 15 and out of 15, 5 pollen grains they have germinated. So, this is our observations in the first microscopic field. Now, we are going to take down these observations into different microscopic fields. So, we will move the slide little bit. And again, I am going to count. So, here approximately the total number of pollen grains are 16. And out of 16, 7 pollen grains have germinated. So, this is observation in the second microscopic field. Now, I am going to note down the same thing in the third microscopic field. So, here approximately the total number of pollen grains in the field are 16 again and the pollen grains which have germinated are 8. So, pollen grain germination in percentage would be in the first case it is going to be 5 upon 15 into 100. So, the percent germination is going to be 33.33 percent right. So, what we have done is it is total number of pollen grains in the field of microscope. It is represented as capital N. Number of germinated pollen grains in the field of the microscope, it is represented as small n. So, the formula would be small n upon capital N into 100. That is number of pollen grains germinated upon total number of pollen grains in the microscopic field into 100. So, this is how we are going to calculate the percent pollen germination. So, this is for the first slide which we prepared using pollen germination medium. We are going to repeat this for the second pollen germination medium which we use as 10 percent sucrose solution. So, now what is the result of this experiment? Although pollen grains of many species germinate in this medium, the percentage of germination and the time taken for germination varies in different species and under different conditions. So, let us try to recapitulate what we have learnt today. In this session, we learnt how to make pollen germination medium and observe the pollen germination. We must note that the time taken and percentage of germination can vary according to different conditions such as temperature and species. Now, try to explore the answers to these questions. First, how many pollen tubes emerge from a pollen grain? Second, what does the pollen tube carry? So, the learning outcomes of this session are make illustrations, label diagrams, flowcharts, concept maps and graphs, designs and implements feasible experiment to verify the facts, principles, phenomena addressing specific scientific question, demonstrates skills in using apparatus, instruments and devices 
for performing experiments along with good laboratory practices, demonstrates to analyze data statistically, represent in tables, interpret results and draws conclusion on the basis of data collected in experiment. Thank you.